All right then gang, so for this series, I wanna welcome back Chris from Coding in Public to teach you how to make a responsive static site with Figma and Astro. It's a really cool series and I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun working through it. Now, if you don't know who Chris is, then I would definitely, definitely recommend checking out his YouTube channel, which is called Coding in Public. It's packed full of really good project builds and tutorials for front end developers. Now, Chris is a fantastic teacher and a lot of his project based videos really complement the ones that I make as a way to practice what you learn. I'm already subscribed to his channel and I would highly encourage you to as well. So I'll leave the link to his channel down below in the video description. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to the capable hands of Chris to take you through the rest of this series. I hope you all have fun. Hey, my name is Chris Pennington. A huge thanks to Sean for having me on his channel again. During this video series, we're going to do a full design to code landing page. We'll start by hand designing everything in Figma and then code out a fully responsive page using a new static site generator called Astro. I'd love for you to follow each step all along the way, but you're also welcome to pick up after the design if you're interested only in coding the design we create together. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to design everything originally in Figma. I'll show you the basics of working in Figma, including building out a color palette, creating reusable components, laying out design elements with auto layouts, which act a lot like Flexbox containers, and accessing helpful community plugins. If you don't have Figma, you can create an account for free and download the software for your operating system at figma.com. The second half of the series will focus on Astro, a static site generator that is framework agnostic and built for speed by shipping no client-side JavaScript by default. Now, while we won't be using a JavaScript framework to build out the page, Astro does make templating plain HTML quick and easy, and that's what we're going to use it for. Along the way, we'll create custom components, learn how to pass and access props, loop through fetched data, and use an Astro icon component to access and minify SVG icons on the fly. To style the site, we'll write modern CSS and tack on a few superpowers using Open Props, a brand new framework made up entirely of CSS variables. And for a bit of extra fun, we'll hook up our styling with PostCSS and Open Props just in time engine to keep our compiled style sheet lightweight and speedy. That means our final build file for CSS will only include props we actually used and whatever manually typed CSS we have. Now, while we will keep JavaScript to a minimum in this series, we are gonna have one of the videos that just focuses on building out this fully responsive infinite review slider from scratch with our own custom vanilla JavaScript component. Once we start coding, I'll track each stage as a separate branch so you can quickly reference the code from the current lesson. Finally, I'd love to have your input. When we finish the build, you may see an error or have a suggested improvement. I've got a special branch we can update together called Community Improvements. Over on my channel, whenever I build a larger project, I ask those who watch to make suggestions on this branch. I'll often update the branch as well with updated code that I see needs to be changed or just new features. The truth is we all code way better when we code in public and we learn from each other. I hope you follow along and find the series fun and interesting, whatever your skill level. If you like these kinds of projects, I'd love to have you visit my channel, Coding in Public. I routinely build out larger projects using mostly the fundamentals of plain HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. Well, enough talking. Let's go have some fun. I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.